embattled Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich has so far ignored calls for his resignation. We get the latest on the growing corruption scandal from CBS News correspondent Dean Reynolds in Chicago. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Harry. Well, the man at the center of the corruption scandal, Governor Blagojevich, is not talking about it. And the man on the far periphery of it, Barack Obama, may have something to say about it at a press conference later today. One who has been talking, though, is Congressman Jesse Jackson, Jr., the son of the civil rights activist and a potential successor to Obama as U.S. Senator from Illinois. I reject and denounce pay-to-play politics and have no involvement whatsoever in any wrongdoing. But now Jackson Jr. is identified in the criminal complaint against Blagojevich as candidate number five, someone who the governor allegedly felt he could get to pay for the senatorial appointment. Blagojevich was taped saying he might get some money up front, maybe, from Jackson, and that the governor was approached by a Jackson emissary about whom he said, you know, he'd raise 500 grand. Blagojevich then allegedly said a second Jackson associate told him he would raise a million if I made Jackson senator. On Wednesday, Jackson acknowledged that he'd met with Blagojevich the night before the governor's arrest. He said he'd done nothing wrong, though, and called on Blagojevich to resign. I never sent a message or an emissary to the governor to make an offer, to plead my case, or to propose a deal about a U.S. Senate seat, period. The interlocking network of Chicago politics is complicating all of this for Obama. Not terribly close to Blagojevich or Jackson, but an association with scandal, however far removed, is not great for a new president. From a political standpoint, this is an awful beginning uh, for Senator Obama to have the governor of his state involved in basically a raffle uh, for a Senate seat. And that's why Obama has joined with 49 other senators in the U.S. Senate calling for Blagojevich to go. Harry? Dean Reynolds in Chicago this morning. Thanks. Joining us now, Bob Schieffer, CBS News Chief Washington Correspondent and host of Face the Nation. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Harry. Think of all of the people with all of these Chicago connections, Rahm Emanuel, Valerie Jarrett, Jesse Jackson Jr., so close to the president-elect. How does this not taint Barack Obama? Well, it is not a good thing. Here, here's the deal, Harry. It would not be illegal, for sure, and it would not be out of the ordinary if Barack Obama or Jesse Jackson or other people who wanted this seat talk to the governor. Mm. I mean, uh, you know, he's the one that's going to make the appointment. But the question is, what went on during those conversations? And if there was any hint of a uh, pay-to-play uh, uh, situation, as they're calling it out there, then that should have been reported. Here's what's going to be important. I think uh, Barack Obama is going to have a news conference later today. Mm -hmm. He is going to have to say, as, with every detail that he can, who that is in any way associated with him talk to the governor and what did they talk about and he has to separate himself when politicians get in trouble on these kinds of deals harry is when they try to give political answers and give political spin mm -hmm. nobody knows what's on those tapes they have to tell the truth they right. run the risk of uh, getting indicted for perjury and it is just imperative that barack obama makes certain that he gives every detail he possibly can about who talked to this person and about what right. As for the governor himself uh, he's not going to last because I mean, one of these conversations of Bob that there's a long conference call all the parties that were involved are not necessarily named one is supposedly Rahm Emanuel he would have had responsibility to talk to federal authorities if pay for play had been discussed in it he'll have to do that and he's going to have to say uh, and give every detail of what they talked about, when they talked about, and what the circumstances of that were. Uh, 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 the president-elect cannot start a new administration mm. with uh, any kind of a cloud hanging over him. That's why it's so important to get this thing settled, get the details, get the facts out there as quickly as he possibly can. And my, my sense of it is that uh, uh, the uh, president-elect will begin to do that in his news conference today. We have to underline here. Uh, these are allegations. Mm -hmm. It hasn't gone to a trial yet. And there is nothing to suggest that Barack Obama has done anything wrong. But he's got to get this deal settled, and the quicker the better. Here. Yeah, because there are plenty of lawyers who have already looked at the, the documents that have been, been
been made public who say there may not be a prosecutable prosecutable case here. So we don't want to put the cart before the horse, as it were. The other thing Real is quick, that uh, he is, uh, the governor is not going to be able to appoint anybody to fill the right. seat. If it comes to that, the, the Senate will refuse to seat whoever he appoints. All so right. uh, that part uh, you don't need to worry about. All right. Bob Schieffer in Washington, as always, thanks for your expertise.